Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, let's start with the continuing session of the representative elements. So friends, in that we have already understood the alkaline metal, that is the group number one. We understood the alkaline earth metals, that is the group number two. So in this session, we shall understand the boron family, that is a group number 13, under the roof of representative elements. So what is a boron family or a group? It is the 13th group in the modern periodic table. If you go from left to right, you can see here the 13th group is the boron family. And the elements present in this group are boron, aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium. Why do we call it a boron family? Just because the boron is the first element of this group. Now let's understand the characteristics of this group under the main categories valency, oxidation state, elements and moving downwards. So friends we have a boron family or you can see a group. First of all it is a group number 13 in modern periodic table right it is called boron family because boron is the first element though friends you should know that the boron is the lightest of the elements present in this group third this group contains boron aluminium gallium indium and thallium. Now let's come up to the properties of these group. Boron family have a property of valency. So it the valency of this group is the three electrons in the outermost shell. It is basically a P block P red. So the valency of all the elements present in the boron family have a three valence electron in their outermost shell. What is the oxidation state? As the elements in this group have either plus three or plus one oxidation state. We have plus three or plus one oxidation state. That is the maximum they can. They have a plus three. That is three valence electron or minimum they can adjust with the oxidize with the plus one electron and come up into ionization state. Then we come up into elements. Though elements there is a one metalloid that is a boron and we have four metals that is other four metals are aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium. Now the main is what happens when we moving or move downwards this group that is first point what happens to the atomic size yes definitely the atomic size increases because the atomic weight and the atomic number increases secondly what happens to the density yes friends when we go downwards the density of the element or you can say the density of the atoms present in the element goes on increasing what happened to the ionic characteristics? It also increases as the ionization energy decreases down the line and the reactivity also decreases. So what happened to the ionization energy? Yes, it decreases. Now let's explain all these things. As now you see that, that these elements are found in group 13 that is we have boron, aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium which are basically a p-block elements in the periodic table. They each have three electron in their outermost shell as full s and one electron in the p-orbital have the unfilled electrons in the p-shell. So with the valence electron configuration, the boron family adopts the oxidation state of plus 3 and plus 1 
as the plus 3 oxidation state are favorable except the heavier metals which prefer the plus 1 oxidation state due to their stability. So this stability we also call it octate rules as we follow in the chemistry or you can also say the inert pair effect that the adjustment to get a noble gas configuration the elements generally follow the periodic table trends except for the certain elements now let's come up to the atomic size as we know that the atomic radii increases down the group so the thallium has the largest atomic radius and if we talk about the electrode potential which increases down the group as the reactivity decreases down the group and the ionization and also decreases going down the group because the electrons are farther from the core and therefore are easier to remove that is the nuclei attraction goes on decreasing so the ionization energy also decrease that is the energy to pull out the electrons is relatively very low as the thallium does not fit in this trend so now friends as we know this the boron family is full of uh, characteristics and we have the elements like all the metals are not metals we have one metalloid that is a we, we have a boron that is it is the first element of this group and is only the metalloid of this group and it's it is the lightest element in this group now friends as we have already understood this so in next session we shall understood the next group which comes under the roof of representative element that is a carbon family thank you we shall continue the last session in the future slides